obviously have a news that is in a very heartbreaking fashion, I have to imagine just hearing about the news, dealing with this elbow tendonitis now and elbow sprain. How do you describe how either it's been a sprain the whole time or just kind of what it led to one thing to the other? Yeah, I think it was just initially that and we had it imaged and then got some opinions on it and took some time off and then as it was building up and getting like more game speed it just I felt like I couldn't something was just not right in my arm and I had to re-image and I think there was like some more signal or it got worse or the spring was still there um, so I just knew I wasn't going to be able to pitch it all in the postseason. When you think about just that feeling though, I mean, can you describe just considering you did have a, a healthy year looking forward to wanting to be part of this group come October? Yeah, I'd say, I don't know, it's just like exhausting I guess. I've just done this so many times. Um, and I've, I think it's like you, you go about it the first time and you try to find other ways to prevent it in the future and that happens again and you try to find more ways to prevent it and it's just kind of like over and over again. It's extremely frustrating I guess. Um, so I think it's hard, I guess like for me it's sometimes it's easier to get like a silver lining and it's like this sucks but I can do this and move forward and I think this one's just a lot tougher just because I've done so many things in the past to try to stay healthy and I think at the time of now like I'm here I wanted to come here to win a World Series and pitch in the postseason, and it's like right at the time where I've just been told I can't do that. So this one uh, sucks the most, for sure. Did, did you get a like a specific diagnosis on what part of that elbow? I think just all I've known to is a like elbow sprain. I haven't gotten like a full rundown of much, to be honest. I've talked to Meister and then just have reports, kind of secondhand reports. Um, yeah. What is the treatment's gonna? Sorry. Do you know what the treatment's going to look like and if you're going to need like any sort of like procedure? Or I don't, I think it's just like re-examine in a few weeks and then go from there. I think that's what it's more like, kind of just, um, I think re-image, see if it's healed and then I think I'm probably going to have to like start throwing again or whatever and just test it again and see if it holds up. How confident were you coming into the season that these issues were behind you and like, was there any point during the season where you thought these are behind me? Yeah, that whole time, I think that's what was the most frustrating thing. I think just like the last two starts, I think just kind of getting out of whack mechanically and just being a little long. Um, I just felt like kind of regular soreness, I guess, like nothing crazy. So I think, yeah, I, I thought it was behind me, so I think that's what makes it so frustrating. The first it just happened again around that same meeting mark. It was just, yeah, it's frustrating. Tyler, uh, was there one pitch in, when you were getting ready for the same game in Atlanta, was there one pitch that you felt it and you said, I can't do this? Or what did you feel in that preparation for the same game? Towards the end of my warm-ups, like the last few, I would just, I felt it kind of something just, it's hard to explain, but just not right, like structurally. It was just like something weird, I don't know. It's just not a, like a comfortable feeling. It's like sometimes you always have to go through stuff as a pitcher, but it's just a different feeling. Nothing too crazy. I just thought it would be a good time to like shut it down and then, but it was probably like the last five throws. I just kind of felt something in there and wanted to say something and then got it Were you concerned if you would have kept going? You could have uh, created a bigger <clears throat> Maybe, potentially. I just knew like how it felt. I don't think it would have just kind of been dumb to keep throwing on it. I think it was just especially within like a lot of VP. Um, yeah, I'm glad I didn't keep, keep throwing on it right there. Though. Uh, up to that point, I mean, how confident were you that you were kind of on the right track to be able to come back? I felt great. I mean, all my bullpen's really good. I think I'd like kind of addressed stuff to be on time more, and everything was coming out like step-wise and dealer wise It was like game ready, so I thought it was good to go, and then uh, I just, just kind of ended up not being okay. It is the I mean, you talked about you know thinking that the TJ a couple years ago kind of addressed a lot of that elbow stuff. Does that make this particularly frustrating? Is yeah. that part of the body again? Please? Yeah, for sure. I still think there's things I can do to try to prevent it in the future, but I think just because it is like the same thing over and over again, it's extremely frustrating. So I'm just trying to like at this point like kind of searching for answers and like a long-term plan that we'll sit down and, and figure some stuff out. But I think the ultimate goal is just to always be able to pitch in the postseason. Um, and that's like my, my goal going forward, just try to figure it out. What kind of stuff, like when you look at like long-term fixes or, or things, like what are things that you can look at and potentially change that you're going to evaluate? I think I'm going to try and like address things mechanically. I know like I have good mechanics. Like I have, I think like talking with a bunch of different people and like biomechanically, like everything is good. I just think I have such a long extension and I put so much stress on my arm being so long. And if there's ways that I can maybe shorten up certain things about delivery or somehow just make my delivery more efficient and not like each start, just trying to keep it as 
like consistent over the course of the season as possible. That's like every pitcher's dream, obviously, but I'm just trying to figure out something to get my arm in a good spot to try to like relieve some of the, the tension in my elbow. So I'm, I'm, right now, I guess I'm just trying to figure all that out and then implement it through the off season and bring it in next season. Have you guys talked about adjusting the workload early in the season next year? No, I mean, no, I, no, not right now. I just, I think I'm sure that'll come when it comes, you know, but I think right now there's like other things people can focus on. So, um, yeah, I'll handle it like when that comes out or closer to that, I'm sure we'll talk about something. Tyler, when you put this all through your head and how to make the adjustments moving forward, is part of that maybe less intense side throws or bullpen sessions in between starts? There's been a lot of theories on why so many pitchers are getting hurt these days. I don't know. I think like I, I've changed it over the years. I got my workload throughout the week throwing wise is really is like not. It used to be a lot when I was younger, and I would do a lot and throw a lot of bullpens. And like as I've gotten older and like kind of had like measurable data from my weeks, like I've done, I do a lot. Like I'll do a lot of stuff to keep my body in good shape, but like throwing wise, like I'm not doing that much stuff. Like I'll throw a bullpen throughout the week, but I'm not throwing a ton of pitches on my stresses during the week. Like my throws aren't high stress. It's not. I don't know if like anyone has really figured out exactly why, but I don't really do a ton of high stress things throughout the week. It's just I guess the starts in between and having a long extension and throwing hard and and even this year the conscious decision of like I'm not out there throwing everything as hard as I can. Like my forcing below is lower on purpose. Like my I'm trying to go about it differently. I just think just I guess how my body works and how long and tall I am, which is tough.